Hey everybody, welcome back. It's your boy, Do It With Dan, and we're in the middle of converting this ambulance to an RV. If you've been following along, you know the last place we left off, we went over the electrical systems that are going in this ambulance, and now we're gonna start the framing process. We have a lot to get done, so you might as well just hop right into it. Because everything changes in a slight instance, and sometimes it changes so much you just gotta be like, fuck it, we'll figure it out when we get there. It's just wood. You know, when we build it, we can just take it off. Like, oh shit, we shouldn't have put that there. Guess we'll take it off. Cut more of it. Go buy more of it, because it's wood. <laughs> We need to decide how tall we want our baseboards to be. Uh, that's all. I'd say about that tall, right? Two inches or so, because we need room for the LEDs. We need to make us a quick little diggy boy. Yeah, that's that'd be the minimum baseboard height for everything around. Sure. All Enough we need to fit the LEDs and everything. Yeah, and all we need is two pieces of that, so we have top and bottom. We'll use these as the uh, height jig for everything for our baseboard. So we'll just put these down, make sure everything's good level and center. Look at that, look how flush that is too, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'm not that bad. Faucets and yeah, we might want to do a standard size then. Right, all the way straight up to the ceiling. It goes 63 and then we trim it how it needs it. How much would we say 63? Yes. Yes. So that big level, yeah. you know where it's at? Mm -hmm. That big gray level? Yeah, the gray one. A little awkward because uh, the ambulance isn't level itself. Right. It's just too tall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I can measure it like that. Two nineteen and a half. Same length, thinks he's fucking tone stark. I like wood. I like wood and wood accessories. One there. Do another one here. Perfect. Hey, both of them fell on there. If you want to do really good cuts, you gotta make sure you're using the same tape measure. It sounds it sounds like common knowledge to use the same tape measure to get the same exact measurements every single time and to cut on the exact same place every single time. Right, sometimes I used to, like how I used to do stuff, I'd mark at like the six inch and I'd be like, cool, and just just whack, send it at the six inch mark. But now I know exactly where at the six inch, if it's on top of the six, if it's a little bit forward, a little bit behind, it's things you gotta know so you get perfect cuts every time. I was told I would be getting metal first thing this morning, then uh, edit. Two o'clock. Yeah. Stay waiting. When you called the guy, it sounded like you should have already known. He's like, oh, it yeah. already left. Yeah. Didn't it? I, I was like, don't know. So we're calling you guys. You ever built a house before? Nope. Well, time. first time. First time. <laughs> He's like, we're going to have to wall that off. Right. Remember, this is going to have to be batch, which has got to be all be waterproof. Right. I think uh, I think this would be your countertop height right here. I agree. Uh, I'm thinking sink there. Right here. Yeah. We have the sink overlap the oven like that. Yeah. Save a little bit of space. Really 
strong. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. But we are, we're framing out the wall. I think just frame out the wall. Okay. Yeah. We'll be cut that one to 63. I think that was like on the note. <laughs> not bad, not bad. We forget to take out the LED light bar that's been in here forever. And just button the wall up over it. I did. I legit did that. Oh, you did? Yeah. See? Oh, yeah, you did. I was talking about like covering it, like put the wall, <laughs> forget about it. And just we put the wall up and send them all through. Like, oh, where, where did the light go? Pull those two screws out. Oh yeah, the wires. Yeah, the wires. Good yeah. call. That's nice. Yeah, I've seen the hot dog video. The hot dog video? Where it stops. Yeah, this one doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> this one doesn't stop. I would imagine so. My like least favorite tool to use. <laughs> I, the thing scares me. To ensure a proper alignment, I'm gonna put my little cheetah board in here. To ensure that it's both 90 degrees on one way and the other. It looks great. Amazing boards. That's very good, very nice, very strong. And that's the start of your bathroom, buddy. We got your entrance to your bathroom all started? Yeah. It's a bathroom. It's bound to be a bathroom. Oh man, that's great. I can do like the Russian. Proving my point, it's strong. <laughs> We have to fucking build a wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. Put up that wall. My jobs. My, my, my clitoris. What's his name? Who? Mike Rowe. Who does the dirty jobs? That's who does the dirty jobs. But who does the move that wall? Move that bus. Who moved that bus? Who's that? It's where they like kidnap people. Move that, that house. bus. Re renovate their house. Like step into the van. It's okay. Get in the get in the bus. I'm removing all the vinyl today. Like in two layers. It's like they didn't even take off the old stuff, they just put new stuff on top. And then sealed it all with this blue tape. Oh, this is kind of very so shitty. Fuck. Also, like I ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon that we're gonna be needing. We got like these uh, distribution blocks for the batteries. Uh, positive and negative, so that way you can like hook up a bunch of wires to this and distribute it to the power sources. I also got some smaller ones because we'll probably need some smaller ones to be a little bit more convenient. And this is the size wiring that we are using. It's ridiculous and I had to buy a special tool because of how thick this is. And I also want to say um, thank you to the gentleman who I met. This, this. this is four aught gauge wire. Okay, good, it's four aught. I thought it said triple four, it's, it's quad four. Uh, compared to a, uh, uh, a miniature man's thumb right there. <laughs> Look at that, that's pretty thick. Um, and because the wire's so thick and the type of crimpers that you have to get uh, require a literally a hydraulic crimping tool. And I love buying new tools. I like it when a project challenges me in a way that I have to learn and how to use a new tool and I have to get a new tool. And uh, here we are, baby. We got a hydraulic press. I think it's like a, it's a 12 ton hand press for crimping big boy wires. <laughs> Add it to the list of tools that I now have. Uh, I don't care about the brand. It was not sponsored or anything like that. Man, I tell you what, I've been really good about the technology that's that's come out of like wiring to make my life easier as being a lazy piece of shit with like this heat gun and shrink wrap stuff. All this stuff, these heat shrink wire connectors, none of that AutoZone shit. Perfectly organized and gauged. It's like a 550 piece set. Oh, I love this stuff. Uh, now we need to get, we need to build more tubes, frames, frames, frames. frames. Let's go! Hey, clean that up. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you look good. <laughs> that actually does look like real blood, though. That's like a Quentin Tarantino film right there. Dude, these floors could make some serious cool blood art, actually. Well, then it just looks like red paint. I can't wait to see what you have planned. Oh, I just bought that. Like, I, that might come in handy. Oh, that really, man. Oh. If you've ever cleaned up blood off of a white floor, like that's fucking accurate. Oh man, it's like transmission fluid now. Just not going away. We have some bleach, right? <laughs> That's fucking hard. I don't know how people do that while writing it. By Avalon Canyon, fuck you! I really tone it down if I want to get more sponsorships. I'm over. Well, I'm over. I don't want to over. <laughs> Need these. Yay! My cheater bars. For 62 inches, that's how much it was. And I was uh, looking for a marker, that's what I was uh. doing. <laughs> What are you doing, step bro? <laughs> Stop. Don't touch me there. Look at that, man. That's like, dude. Come here, look at this gap. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, look at that. Look at uh, that. Look at that. It's like a, what, like an eighth of an inch? And I had I had to plan for that because I know I have to notch the board out, so. Where are you? Look at me, I'm so special. God. I need to notch a sexurino out of this. Don't focus, come in here, but don't, I'm, don't, I mean, look down here, but I'm gonna say, uh, don't pay too much attention to this, this bow and this piece of wood right here. This piece of wood won't be visible or anything like that. Right now, with everything that's going on, finding like straight, straight wood is really hard. So we're working with what we got, especially at local supplies. Don't even, don't worry about this gap. You won't see this gap. Don't, don't, even, don't look too hard at it. Don't even worry about it. Clamp. Give me two little clamps. Must stand in the other corner. So, so you said we can get rid of all that Mustang stuff? Yeah, like all the plastic shit I didn't even know was in there. Oh, you had a whole Mustang in that box. Which I knew that's like one of the reasons why I wanted to, uh, to go through is because I knew that half of it was like useless. <laughs> I'm going to try to do my best to make sure that this is nice and square. Oh, that's fucking nice. Oh, we used to call your mom's bedside table the drill drawer. <laughs> that's fucking funny. I cracked myself up. The drill drawer. Drill drawer. I was digging. I found a drill bow. I was bedside table and I found a lot saver. It tasted real funny. I'm trying to keep. I'm gonna try to keep a little bit more organized today. I got my bits here. I'm gonna try really hard today. Deserved it. Say, save me, Tom Cruise. All right, I'm good. I'm good. All right, great. That hurt. Oh, that's when I hit it the other day. <laughs> I, mean, I was off just a little bit. I think I'll probably put like a sheet of plywood over that as like a, a spacer, yeah, you know, yeah. just to, like seal it, seal it. But mm -hmm. that'll, that's good. 30 inches. I need a board at 30. I had to put on the safety scores. Yeah, I had to close mine. But right now, the only thing we really have to calculate for is this latch that comes down here. It doesn't go any lower than that. That's fine. Just gonna make sure that it's the correct height on both sides. Oh, this wood was made in Idaho. No wonder why it's not straight. Nothing straight comes out of Idaho. <laughs> All five of my followers who are from Idaho are gonna be like, fuck you, Dan. <laughs> Ten hours of eight to more hard to sleep to. 
Bond. Dan Bond. Oh, so gold. apparently. Gold Bond uh, for your crotch. The uh, remastered GoldenEye for the Xbox Live that never came out got leaked. I didn't know there was that. I didn't know either. Apparently it surprised a lot of people. It was a remaster for the Xbox 360. So what, like people using emulators? How are they doing it? Because I'm, I'm sure the I servers. haven't looked anything into it. Man, you probably missed that catch, and I almost pierced my thumb with a drill bit. But let's just say that I'm awesome. Can I get a, hey, Dan, you're awesome in chat? Normally on a lot of these applications, especially when framing a house, you use like L brackets and like weird brackets to mount the wood together. And we're gonna do that where we needed to, but the best part about having this ambulance is that literally everything is an eighth of an inch thick aluminum, if not thicker. And we're just mounting everything directly to that, and it's super fucking strong. I mean like, Ooh, Mr. Strongman. Ooh. Wait, what's the thing? Is that how you do it? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. But anyway, I think that proves my point. Nice and strong. Everything nice and strong for big strong man. We do. Waist up. What did it pull up? Oh. oh, that looks pretty convincing, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm a tool collector, right? I like collecting tools. Collecting tools is one of my favorite fucking things, right? So if you come up here and you look at this, in order for me to make this nice and flush with everything, it needs to be a little bit thinner and a little bit straighter. Probably about 16th of an inch I need to... Man, this has got a big ass bow in it too. In order to make it flush, I need to thin it out, right? And you know me, I go through phases, knife making, woodworking, all that good shit, and I, I still love doing all that. So any chance I can buy a tool, I buy a tool. And I bought this planer, which is really fucking loud, by the way. And this is gonna make the piece very flat on both sides. There's like a little ball level here that'll tell us how much we're about to take off. And I only wanna take off like, actually I wanna take off less than a 16th, so I'm just gonna kinda. Feel that, feel that like, Ooh. it's like a different, yeah. the feel, and like you get these really sharp, crisp edges, feel that, it's kind of like, Ooh. This is great. People are refining out that Johnny Depp, or not Johnny Depp, Robert Downey Jr. did, did blackface. Black yeah, and they're like, and They're super upset about super it now. Super disgusted. Can you believe he, defended it because it was part of a movie? Fuck you. <laughs> I guess we should just never make movies again then. Mm. If, we're, if that's how we're gonna be about movies, you know, if we're gonna get sensitive about every little fucking thing. <laughs> you had a bunch of wood on it. You just got blown, but do a band. All right. That's what they see a Quentin Tarantino film with Samuel L. Jackson in it. <laughs> <laughs> Pulp Fiction, the, the garage scene. Holy shit, they're gonna lose their mind. Who the fuck does Quentin Tarantino even think he is? <laughs> I'm all for everyone having a voice and being politically correct, but not in films. It's like literally where political correctness. Comedy, comedy is 100%. I can't even think about it. I'm so fucking mad just thinking about it. <laughs> the idea that you can judge and attack comedy. Everybody thanks. The bags were a good idea, but, but <laughs> it could have been done better. It could have been done better. Well, shit, fine. I can't see, you can't see. All that matters, can the fuck the horse see? Jonah Hill in that movie was fucking funny. It's one of them spits a hole, spits dip. Spits through the aisle. Yeah, gnarly cow. Going on. I have a cowlick going on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, in the back, I went to bed with my hair wet. I went to head with my bear wet. <laughs> <laughs> Without eye protection, let me tell you. <laughs> that would be like a little spacer. Where that spring is, you know, you see the spring mechanism, it kind of goes like this, and we wanted to be able to keep it locked in without having it. Because the shower, since the shower is going to be in here, we don't want moisture to get to the steel springs and stuff like that. So I'm going to build this little cover panel for everything. Oh, we have mechanism to opening up the door but that'll hide that nicely. We'll seal this off nice and good so none of the humidity from the shower gets in here. It'll be all airtight. Isn't that neat? I like that. Neat. That's true craftsmanship right there. I'll tell you what, they sure don't make them like do what Dan used to. We got, we got to put one up here. 
Mm -hmm. Might as well just go ahead and build the door frame, I guess. Yeah. Right? I guess so. And then work that corner. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that a Slim Jim product? No, it is a Slim Jim product. This, is that Slim Jim product? It is a Slim Jim product. I'll only eat Slim Jim because they follow me on Instagram. And <laughs> the only reason they follow me on Instagram is because I had to ask my buddy who runs like a big ass meme page to reach out to them to tell them to follow me back. <laughs> my buddy, uh, I have no memes V96. He's a good buddy of mine. He was like a couple mil meme page. And I was like, hey, how come Slim Jim follows you? And he's like, I got you fam. And dead ass like a minute later, Slim Jim was following me. I was like, bro, thanks. Cover this lip here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna build another one that kind of walls it off here. It's a guard, right? Kind of, yeah, it's to like help you. Not lose push, your fingers? Yeah, yeah, it's help you push wood through and it's adjustable. It's like the scariest tool that I own. And I'm being serious, out of all my tools, this thing sketches me out way more than anything else. It's got like a twang to it. Oh, you wood expert now, huh, wood boy? Huh? Is this actually, your special bush? I actually know. Is this your that. special bush? Anybody gonna get that reference? Are you king of the jungle? Huh? You king of the forest? Huh? Oh yeah, king of the forest? Huh? Is this your special bush? Was that, that's, that's uh, Jamie Kennedy, That's Jamie Kennedy, yeah. yeah. I fucking love Jamie. What has he been up to for the past 10 years? <laughs> what's, what's, what's he been up to since like 2005? What do you think the peak of his career was on, in movies was Malibu's Most Wanted? Mm. I have to show up in order for me to blow up. I fucking love that movie. We need to watch that one. Yeah, that's a good one. I think we run a, a, a piece of wood that's that thick, right there, drill it long ways, gap it here, and then that'll just be a panel with the bottom piece as well. And then that'll be like, that'll be the electrical panel for if you need to get access to this shit. 59 inches, and I'll have to cut it at two and a quarter. That's what they call me. <laughs> Mr. 59 inches. Always measure and mark at the exact same spot every time so you know exactly where to cut it. Long ways the way we've been doing it. Hot dog style? Hot dog, hamburger, hot dog. How do you cut your wood? You cut it hot dog or hamburger? Are oh, you know like pop punk emo's coming back? Uh, you can tell me that as much as you want, but I'm not biting. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's gonna be right behind that? Oh, tell me. Ska. Oh yeah, tell me about it. Ska's gonna make Ska's it come gonna back. gonna rule the world, this baby. Something just hit me in the head, and then my eyes got full of salt. Set me free. Something, something, escape from the city. I will. This is backseat racing. What'd you do? Hit a artery on this wood? A wood artery? Yeah. Yeah, I think he went to rehab, then he went back. Oh, then I think there was some like rape allegations. Oh man, yeah, rape and heroin. Yeah. Usually, usually rock stars are so so clean cut, so right? Clean cut, right? If you think about like talented musicians, like let's talk about like Kurt Cobain, right? Oh yeah. Who's the chick? Uh, I won't go to rehab. The Wh singer. Whitney Houston. Well, yeah, okay, Whitney Houston's and all. It really does get him, doesn't it? Right? But very talented, very well known. Like, and J Johnny Craig had an incredible voice. And when he got sober, he released new music that was not close to what it was. If only people could manage their heroin addiction and make music, you know? Well, you know, I'm sure that there is some fan base of mine that have conquered heroin addiction. And I know we make, we make jokes about everything on this channel, but if you have, you know, fucking congratulations. It's, it's mm -hmm. hard shit from what I understand. But yeah, don't do drugs. But drugs, heroin's bad. Heroin's real bad. Heroin's mega bad. I'm gonna embed this a little bit so we can have our panel cover right there. I think we probably just make that out of like, just the vinyl or something, I don't know. You know, honestly, having this many extra walls has been a godsend for us. A lot of these van builds, they don't have like steel supports that you can really mount to, so you have to really, you kinda have to do it from the outside sometimes. But yeah, this is convenient as fuck. Like, I probably wouldn't consider using an ambulance this short. I think the height was the problem for us in a lot of ways. Like, it, it created a lot of issues. Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. That's the name I was trying to 30 think minutes of. later, oh, Amy Winehouse, you know. <laughs> Heroin. <laughs> Why did we get this one? Talk about a left word. That's a, that's a yeet. <laughs> we must have picked this one up in the morning. Yeah. You know, morning, morning wood. Wood. Ah. Ah. Boners. 
Yeah, I don't even think we can use this one. <laughs> it's like... It's like a hard... Yeah, I'm gonna put this one. Make a fucking sleigh or something. This would make a good leg. Hey, look at our bathroom framing. This is uh, this is the whole bathroom. Right? Welcome. Welcome to the bathroom. There's gonna be a door. You're gonna open it. And you say, hey, look at the bathroom. Cool. And I don't even... Duck. I'll have to duck down. Ham will have to duck down because we're dealing with, you know, height. But uh, then the, you're in the bathroom. And then the toilet's gonna go here. So when you... Take a dumper here, and then you need to open the door when you want to get out the poop. You know, you just open the back door, and you can take the poop out with the toilet. It's composting compost toilet since we have it right now. And then you're gonna step down in here, which is the shower. Hey, welcome to the shower. The reason we did the shower here was just so we could give Ham the appropriate amount of height, right? He's a tall guy. He's six foot one. Mm, two, I think. Six foot two, and this sure. is like a five foot and eleven and a half height ambulance. You know what I'm saying? Well, now it is. Now it is. Yeah. Uh, the bottom floor of this cabinet we've repurposed. We're gonna put a little drain here with like a little, a little uh, gray water tank so he can still use the shower without it pouring out on the ground every single time. I accidentally made Spike from Cowboy Bebop in the vinyl. Yeah, cut. yeah, big nose. But maybe a little bit more afro. And the cum monster! <laughs> you can't hear it now, right? You can't unhear it. It's the cum monster, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Like a root grew through this one. What? Like this is a floating. Oh yeah, it's a knot. We got a good old, good old knot. We should, we should fill that with something cool, like epoxy or oh, drugs. <laughs> You're not back. We'll so I haven't really been going over like every step that we do, like every board, because I think it's it's kind of unnecessary once you figure out how you're gonna mount it. It's kind of just putting stuff where it needs to go, right? Uh, a lot of people are probably gonna use like metal studs and stuff like that. We don't have to because thankfully this entire ambulance is made out of metal. It's like we have an entire foundation to mount to, so we can just mount the wood straight to it and it'd be nice and strong. We don't need to do like L brackets and stuff like that. How you guys are gonna do, it's gonna vary from application to application. Use this video if you're watching this as more of like a guide on how to or how not to do certain things. More on the ladder probably. Yeah, definitely the ladder. Very structural. <laughs> like now that we've got this like double cross beam, we could probably get into a car accident and it won't even go anywhere. <laughs> I guess I'll just shake the whole fucking ambulance from your fucking bed, boy. I'm pretty happy. I mean, that's, that's, so, that's solid. Yeah, like the whole axle and the lead springs were shackles were slapping, like, wow. Woo! Parkour! <laughs> ambulance! Parkour! Parkour! Ambulance! Park! Parkour! Blow all our knees out because we shouldn't be doing shit. Like yeah, because I'm fucking almost 30. <laughs> I still got a couple years. Yeah, got... You you got some years. I got two years. I'm I'm like you can turn it all around. I could. You could. I very well could. Am I gonna? Mm. <laughs> all right, guys, that's going to be where we end today's video. In the next video, we'll be continuing the framing process, get the bedroom all situated, get his office situated, getting the electrical box built, and we'll go even further than that. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done that shit already. Hit that little notification bell. I never ask this shit, but YouTube sucks. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the support, and I will see you in the next one.